Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, as if we didn't expect this. Warhammer fan sites are now turning on everyone who has, you know, a slight bit of disgruntlement with the news that the Adeptus Custodes are now women as well. Uh, everyone's just a bigot. Ugh. Uh, it's like clockwork, right? It's to be expected that this happens. It always does. It's unbelievable, though, every single time, because you just think that's absolutely the right thing to do, isn't it? Attack fellow fans. And again, I repeat, why are you doing this? Right? I've said it before. I'll say it again. Is it for revenue or is it for ideology? This would appear to be ideology. And at that point, it's perfectly valid to call them out on it and at least have the conversation for a lazy shoehorn retcon. Retcon? Retcon. So, you know, dumb. Really, really dumb. But Warhammer 40k fans like attacks players as bigots for disliking the female retcon Adeptus Custodes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look at this. Uh, hit subscribe if you're new here. And check out the article linked down below on that part place. But like I said, it's really predictable. So Warhammer 40k fan site, Bell of Lost Souls and writer Abe Atfall has attacked Warhammer fans as bigots for disliking Games Workshop's retcon and subsequent gaslighting of the Adeptus Custodes. It's just a bit dumb. It's really dumb. It's very, very valid, right? Because apparently, just as an FYI, apparently loads of people that, you know, Warhammer sort of fans and fan sites and stuff are just saying it's simply just a bunch of chuds. You know, oh, it's the tears of chuds, bleh, all this kind of crap. No, your gaslighting tweet is one of your most viewed tweets. That's not good. And the response is valid. You know, people kick them, kick them a fuss is valid. We live in this in the 3D printing world now. You don't have to buy stuff which is molded. 3D printing is incredible for tabletop RPG games. Genuinely. I have a friend that has created some of the most like beautiful things. They look absolutely amazing. They look better than Warhammer, the prints. So, yeah. We live in a 3D printing world. It's not smart to keep pissing off your fans. But we've we've covered this before. I'm not going to go over it again. But basically, it's now a retcon that we've got custody uh, adeptus custodies. That's in the in the uh, codex now. Um, and it was a retcon from previous lore, as noted by former World of Warcraft team Mark Kurt and anyone that knows anything about it. And you can see it here. Here's like a super old one, 1987. Um, it says the the Adeptus Custodes is the Emperor's inner guard, the members of which are privileged in being permitted to serve upon the Emperor, uh, attending to his needs, receiving and recording his directions. These men never leave Earth, and only rarely leave the Imperial Palace, an endless black hive of forbidden technology and subterranean passages delving deep within the bowels of the planet. That's a super old one, uh, and then in the seventh and eighth edition, just. To highlight generations of newborn sons, newborn children, men. Uh, and then they did this. It's had nearly 4 million views now, by the way. Since the first of the 10,000 were created, there have always been female custodians. Press X the doubt. But anyway, now everyone's a bigot. Except the diversity, you bigot. No, no, we don't have to. Anyway, uh, Atful wrote in an article on Bell of Lost Souls titled Warhammer 40k, only bigots hate the female Adeptus Custodes. Only bigots? Oh no, women are coming to ruin 40k. They already are in there. No one's got a problem with women in the bloody thing, you moron. Are, do you even play it? Um, the bigots need to get over themselves about female Adeptus Custodes. There are more people 
who can be discerning about their finances than those that will just simply eat it up. Now, I don't think this will massively hit them, right? But I do think something will happen. Anyway, he goes on to say, As seems to happen every time Games Workshop takes a step to be more inclusive, if it's at the behest of established law, there's an issue, right? You can you can work... This is Again, this is the thing. When Games Workshop takes a step to be more inclusive, for what reason? Financial? Ideological. Financial should always be the aim. Always. Because you're a business. Ideolo ideology doesn't actually really have any standing in a business. Because a business's function, primary function, only function, should be, can I earn profit? So when ideology starts to interject with the ability to earn profit, business decisions, there's a real key issue there. There's a problem. And so Games Workshop taking steps to be more inclusive. Well, what does this mean? Are you going to have an all gay band of bloody space marines next? There's going to be lesbian space marines. Where does it end when you start to interject ideology into businesses when it's in this level? Like, wh where does it end? Because the logical, you know, you, you take everything to its logical end point. The logical conclusion of inclusive is that you will quite literally have an all black space marine segment, an all gay space marine segment, right? All of these things. It's utter nonsense. But that is the logical end point when your primary aim is just inclusivity for inclusivity's sake. It's dumb. Anyway. Uh, to get more people into the hobby, some bigots on the internet are mad in a number of online spaces, including comments on our website. People have, So you're annoying your own people that come to your website now. That's dumb. Uh, people have come out to protest this update, and they're allowed to. They fund... They keep the business alive. They have a say in where it goes just by virtue of spending money. In general, they position themselves as guardians of the law. Maybe even a few people reading this are in this position. You might be able to tell me how you're not a bigot at all. You simply really care about 40k law and its sanctity. But you know what? Save yourself the breath and take a seat. Are you a woman? Because this is a real feminine way to comment on something. Uh, the truth is that 40k has never cared one bit about the internal consistency of its own law. It actually has. There have been countless retcons. There have, but you still have cared about it. And the retcons they've tried to do in a way which is smart. Um, indeed, 40k is specifically written so that there's no truth. Imperfect narrators are the norm and that everything can and often does change at any moment. And yet people still get mad about a small subsection of these things. Sure. Anyway, so this is the argument posted by Games Workshop employee Nick Davies. Uh, Davies argued, well, now it is clear why you're a former team lead, eh? Seriously, 40k law is unreliable, narration at best, myth, legend, and contradiction abound throughout the background history. Heck, even though, even through our own history, and if possible, female marines, custodies, and LGBTQ plus representation make you lose your water. That's on you and you alone. Uh, and then said further says, I worked for Games Workshop for a very specific part of its history. I started in the mail order trolls and worked my way up into the studio, finishing out my career with Games Workshop working on the White Dwarf magazine UK in the US edition. During my time at the company, especially during my White Dwarf years, I had one mission. I wanted to share my joy of Warhammer hobby gave, gave to me to lift up that mystic veil and show who you, the average gamer like me, could participate no matter your skill level. In short, Take some of the mystery out of what is this, what of dry brushing. Uh, I like to think I mostly succeeded in this mission and I'm heartened when I hear from now vets in the hobby who cite me as a positive influence. The hobby, as I like to call it, is supposed to be fun, a uniting force between gamers to create friendships, a social function, uh, something to be enjoyed and share. You never were supposed to build silos of lore because the very idea of the Warhammer and Warhammer 40k universe was the history was so convoluted and fragmented there was no such thing as fact. Everything was supposed to contradict. That was the purpose. That being said, I'm overjoyed seeing the hobby that once gave me a means to live, being so inclusive, seeing female LGBTQ plus gamers and seeing them represented at the highest level of Games Workshop toy soldiers is pure joy. I love it. I wish I'd seen more of it during my time at Games Workshop, but we're here now and you've made this old white dwarf a very happy. This is so dumb. Just as an FYI, again, like I said, look, look, right, 
orcs don't represent anyone. Are you going to bin them off now? Representation is completely meaningless. People don't paint and battle factions because they're represented. Like, there's only narcissists need to do that, right? They paint them because they look cool or... You know, the, the specific moulds are pretty cool, or a bit of the lore, funnily enough, lore is really cool and appealing to them. It's all about it being somewhat cool, not representation. Again, what, what are you going to have a bunch of like, bloody trans space marines next? Like, where does it end? It's nonsense. Anyway, this is all super lame, uh, but I've been enjoying covering this. Uh, and again, more crap from this person on this website. Bigots to be ignored. How about you just, like, I don't know, piss off and... I don't know, go be a narcissist elsewhere.